What's something you're sick of having to explain? Yes, I can code. But no I can't fix your PC, that won't turn on for some reason. The difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. As a type 1 diabetic, I get asked this all the time or people confuse type 1 with type 2. They are very different diseases. Red green color blindness. Now when it comes up instead of playing the what color is this? Game I have a picture on my phones that illustrates how different color visions see things. Why we need to stop planting exotic plant species. Edit, I work in parks. That I can produce quick work or quality work. You can't have both. Got sick of explaining this to the same people over and over. So I quit my job and got a better one. That you can be young and still have chronic illnesses slash disabilities. Not all disabilities are visible. That being neat and organized or being germophobic does not equal having OCD. Eater, I have OCD. I feel that the misconception I described downplays the mental illness. My pain and the things I can and can't do. Having an invisible disability is annoying. People either think you're lazy, lying, or a wimp. I even had to file a case with the EOC against one employer after an interview with a woman who gave me a dressing down, asked me my disability rather than my limits, and told me I'd actually have to work and not sit around like those other five-star hotels. It was a front desk position. All I wanted was a chair. She had me out of the room in less than two minutes after berating me for what she presumed to be laziness and hardly letting me speak at all. I'm not an overly emotional person, but I was so shocked that I left the interview crying. It fucking sucks. That just because I don't talk to people doesn't mean I'm lonely. I'm perfectly fine being alone with myself. Alone does not equal lonely. Before I got my current job a month ago, I only had about 6 other interviews over the course of 5 months. At most of them the recruiter would always be so confused about why I've lived in so many places, and it was so annoying and weird. I was a military kid. My parents moved when I was in college and now I live in a completely different state from them because that's where my fiancé ended up. I don't really understand why that's confusing. People move more often now than they ever have. Why we don't have kids. Whether or not we want kids is no one's business. And the fact that we are probably not able to is even less so. Let the water boil. Then add spaghetti. That I have tried just talking. Every single person I've seen tells me to just try talking or something like it. Context. Six weeks ago on a Wednesday afternoon I started to stutter, and 45 minutes later I said my last words. Since then I have not uttered a since sound. Not had a stroke and my language skills are still present. I speak and I hear them in my head and nothing comes out of my mouth. Waiting on neuro and speech and language referral, but hash THANKSCOVID and politics the hospital has rather long backlog. That evolution is simply a change in allele frequency over time and that there is no end goal. So many people don't understand the basic concept, but choose not to believe it. Why I don't really talk. I'm so sick of being asked why. Are you so quiet? Because I just am. I can talk to people and understand social cues, but I don't speak unless I think I'm adding something. For context. My skin is the same color as a brown paper bag, which should be irrelevant, but causes people to ask me constantly what are you? I'm black. There's also that weird guessing game. Shout out to the dude who asked if I was Muslim. That's not a race. I stopped entertaining the question entirely at this point. That my migraines are categorized as chronic migraines. I take a lot of medication to get down to six months. There is almost always pain rumbling around behind my left eye. So far I have been told my migraines are because I had kids too young. Because I do not attend church enough. 
Because I'm separated. Because I work, rather than stay home. Because I drink coffee, wine and soda. Because I'm not vegetarian slash vegan. Because I listen to rock slash alternative music. I don't get enough exercise slash fresh air slash sex. I'm sure there's more. But trying to remember makes my head hurt. Oh but nobody remembers to blame the car accident that gave me actual brain damage. Surrounds and rears are two different speaker locations and neither of them go in the ceiling. That depression and anxiety take a toll on me more than people realize. I can't do some things due to it and that's that. Introverted means that you get mentally exhausted around people, but energized when on your own. It does not mean that you are shy or socially anxious. Why I talk white I don't talk white. People can't talk white. Why do you inherently think black people can't speak proper? If I'm out, seeing you, I'm having a good day. I don't leave the house on bad days. Sometimes I don't leave my bed. My illness still exists, even though I can visit. When I tell you that I can do things for about 4 hours on a good day without consequences then hang out with you for 8. I'm not lying. I'm going to have a bad day tomorrow, and probably the next day, which I'm choosing, so I can spend time with you. That you can't prove a negative. I. E. Prove that there is no God. Correlation is not causation. Why I'd rather not get married. Yes I know the benefits. But there are also benefits to not being married. Just like with anything. There's pros and cons to everything. I'd rather not take the bad of marriage with the good. I can easily live my life without it. And I hate being heckled because of this. How to do my job. I train new employees. And I hate it. I do a great job and do it with a smile because I want good people doing good work. But inside, when I see that I'm training, I have to take a nice long deep breath and then smile and say hello. Maybe that seems shitty, but they receive good training and I always treat them with respect and kindness. It's not back quote should of it's should have. Similarly, it's not deep seated. It's deep seated. You don't nip it in the butt. You nip it in the bud. It's not for all intensive purposes. It's for all intents and purposes. People repeatedly getting common phrases wrong drives me nuts. My eyes are insanely sensitive to light. Sunlight and fluorescent. LED. CFL. And amp. Incandescent above maybe 40 watts. Phones. Computer screens. TVs. So I'm not wearing the sunglasses inside because I'm hungover, or on drugs, or trying to look super cool. I'm wearing them inside, so I don't think about gouging my eyes out every 3 minutes. It's not omelette du fromage. It's omelette a you fromage. I'm an accountant for a private company, and have to work extra hours during March and April, while we have our financial statements audited. I'm tired of having to explain, even to friends, that the reason I'm busy is not because it's tax season. That when I say no to you asking me to do something for you I mean it. I'm the ad manager for a small company of 60 to 70 employees. Where do I even begin? Your computer needing to restart, to complete an update isn't an error and you don't need to call me to ask what to do. No the random email from Macrosoft asking for your password isn't legit. Please don't click it, or enter your password. Your name 123, isn't a secure password. For the love of god please change it to something else. Your laptop webcam isn't broken. Just slide open the privacy cover. The system isn't slow or laggy. Your home internet slash wifi definitely is though, and your kids streaming Netflix, and downloading games, while you're working from home isn't helping. Migraines are more than just headaches. And I'm so glad your neighbor's aunt's sister's boyfriend's mom treats hers with yoga and exedrine. But at some point in 20 years and 7 neurologists you must think I've tried that. Eater when I say more than just headaches. Yeah. I mean it's not just a bad headache. 
but I also mean it's not just a headache, it's a whole body clusterfuck. Nausea. Brain fog. Chills. Fatigue. Aphasia. Tremor. Sensitivity to light and sound. Don't touch me. Seeing flashing lights. Full body experience. So even when the headache itself isn't crippling, I'm not a real person for days. Also, don't get to keep migraines. I have them daily. So yeah. I've learned how to live through serious pain. Just because I'm outside, or on the internet, or at the grocery store doesn't mean I don't really have migraines. Deborah. I just can't spend my entire life lying in a dark room doing nothing. As much as my body might want me to- The logical fallacy of denying the antecedent. Basically, if A then B does not mean, if B then A, it means if not B then not A. That I'm not an asshole and disrespectful to my parents, and that I just lost all trust in them, and that I hate them for all the shit they've done to me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future, subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.